So here we're in the sample preparation area where we are using a cutoff saw to dice up welding samples for mounting, polishing, grinding, and then inspection. So this is one more step of sample preparation. After we dice the samples, mount it in a hot press, we grind it, polish it to a mirror finish, and then move on to etching where we uh, drop acid onto the metal to bring out the grain structure and can actually see the weld bead. At IPG, for inspection and measurement of the parts that are laser processed, we have optical microscopy, scanning, electron microscopy, and atomic force microscopy. Uh, which one you use really depends on the part that you're machining or the, the feature that you're trying to analyze. For example, uh, if you want to look at parts using magnifications up to like a thousand X, uh, we would most likely use optical uh, microscopy. Above that, you'll use scanning electron microscopy or atomic force microscopy, depending on what you're looking for. In addition to weld measurements, optical microscopy is used to measure the grain size and phase area in a weld zone and heat-affected zone, and to measure the potential defects, such as micropores in the weld zone. So this is a cross-section of the bead on plate welds done by IPG Wobblehead. The weld measurement is often required to meet the mechanical properties of the welded part, attributes such as weld depth and the width of the welds at different locations. These bead on plate welds are done by totally different wobble parameters, and as you see, they result in a significantly different weld profile. So in micro-hardness test, uh, so we use a low level of forces to create very small micro-level indentations. In this case, this is a Vickers micro-hardness test performed on a weld zone uh, of a process sample. And the uh, size of indentation is measured optically by the system. And we could have a typical graphs like this. It's uh, mic many micro hardness measurements along uh, a long line crossing the weld zone, heat affected zone, and base metal. You could have some hardening in heat weld zone. Uh, some increased hardness in heat affected zone and softer base metal. So many of our customers have specific strength requirements and we design the process to meet those strength requirements as well as providing consistent, clean, repeatable welds. Energy dispersive X-ray spectroscopy is one of the tools that we have. Here you basically focus an electron beam on the sample, uh, typically using the SEM, uh, or while using the SEM, and you capture what are called the characteristic secondary x-ray uh, that are emitted by the sample. By analyzing those, you can basically understand what's the elemental composition of the sample. For more information about our metrology and metallurgy lab capabilities and to send us your most challenging samples, please contact us at 508-373-1100.